Greetings friend, I'll teach you everything you need to know about the advanced Doku technique called by value universal grave plus three, also known as bug plus three. I'll cover all the relevant definitions and conditions. What makes this different from the bug plus one that you probably heard of before. And most importantly, a key fact you need to know before you try to apply this technique. Click below for the puzzle link. And with that, it's solving time. So our example comes from the Sudoku players forum. And what you may notice is I got three cells highlighted here in the purple. And since we have three cells that have additional candidates in them, this is a bug plus three. In order to fully understand what I'm talking about, let's review the definition for a bug plus one. Bug stands for by value universal grave. And so it's a technique that you can use to solve a puzzle that has almost all by value cells remaining as uh, cells and candidates. So the idea here is first and foremost, the puzzle has to have a unique solution for this to work. You have to know the puzzle has a unique solution because what you're trying to avoid is what's called a deadly trap. So in this situation, you wanna look at what candidate appears three times in the row, column, and block. And so in this cell, you'll see a nine is three times in the column and in the row. It's actually four times in the block. But for the purposes of this, eliminate a nine from here. And I'll show you why in just a second. In this cell, you'll notice that the nine is three times in the row. And now, you know, you see three times in the column and in the block and three times in the column. So you can move a nine from right there. And then that would leave this cell right here. And what you would see is that an eight actually appears three times now in the row, in the block, and in the column. So you can move an eight from right there. In this situation, you'll notice that every cell is a by value cell remaining. You could go and you could solve, and I'll remove the colors here. You could solve you know, this for three, and then you would start solving the rest of the puzzle, and you would end up finishing the puzzle. But if you went back and then solve this for a nine, you get all of the opposite values in all these cells here because there's no cell that would uh, disrupt that deadly pattern. And so we know we can't have that. So knowing there's a unique solution means this cannot be possible. And so what you do is then you add, you have this additional cell here in a bug plus one, you would know that the cell that disrupts the deadly pattern is the one that appears three times. So you could solve this for an eight if these were by value cells and you'd go and you could solve the rest of the puzzle pretty quickly. So now bug plus two, I covered my previous video, but in a bug plus three, it's now you have three a situation where it's three cells like this. And so I gotta caution you, you don't solve it just as easily as a bug plus one. And if you're new to the channel, I take this time to welcome you to Smart Hobby. Subscribe if you want to turn your passing interest in Sudoku into a fun and enjoyable hobby. So for the bug plus three, you have certain conditions that need to be met. One, puzzle has to have a unique solution. Two, three cells have to have more than two candidates, or in this case, three candidates. We have that. And then the third situation is that all the other cells have to contain two candidates or by value cells. Okay, so we have that situation. We have a bug plus three deal. And I need to tell you, you can solve this puzzle using other advanced strategies and methods and that will solve. This is just showing you a shortcut that you could use in this situation to force a solve. And so what you do is instead of being able to go, okay, you know, this has to be the nine and then this has to be uh, a nine and that has to be an eight there's multiple situations that can occur here and you're going to use that to make your elimination what happens is that you can look at this cell and you go okay either this is a nine and that will break the deadly pattern or this is a nine and it breaks the deadly pattern or this is an eight and it breaks the deadly pattern. That's the way you need to look at it. And then the fourth condition is 
any of those situations, any combination of those situations can be true. So you actually have four situations to consider. A nine here, a nine here, an eight here, and then some kind of combination of these three. It could be all three are true, which is uh, not likely since nines would have to be in both those cells, or like eight and nine would be true in the you know two of the cells, like these two cells. So you have to consider that. Okay, first situation. This could be a nine. If that's a nine, then this cell right here cannot be a nine. It's going to be a two. And this is going to be the focus cell because it's the cell that's in and shares the block with the rest of these bug plus three cells. Okay, if that is not a nine, we go over here and then this cell, that could be a nine, right? That's the second possibility. This is a nine, then this green cell would not be a nine. That'd have to be a two there as well, right? All right, now a third possibility here, nine or there, nine there, if this was an eight. If this is an eight, what happens? What you'll notice is that you remove the eights from right here. That put a three right here. That put an in the corner. Bum bum bum. Put a nine right there, and then this cell couldn't be a nine. Okay. And you may have noticed that this cell right here also has a three, a nine showing at least three times. If that was a nine, then obviously this cell couldn't be a nine either, right? So in all three situations. If any of these are a nine or an eight, this cell cannot be a nine. And so it doesn't matter, you know, if two of the three are right, one of the three are right, this can never be a nine. So you can make this elimination and you can solve this cell for a two. And I also wanna make another point clear, even knowing and seeing a bug plus three, you're not always gonna get a solve. You do get always get a solve with a bug plus one, but not with a two or three. You could have bug plus seven even. All you can do is go, you know, one of these situations has to be true or a combination uh, of the three. But in this case, you are able to make a solve. You can solve that cell for a two. And then what would that do for the rest of the puzzle? If this is a two, you can see that's an eight, that's a two. And then that's a three, that's a two. You got a nine here, a three here. And then you're gonna put the nine there, awesome. And with this nine, you got eight, nine right there. And you're gonna put an eight right there, three here, eight, nine right there, two, nine right here. Now challenge yourself to learn a new strategy in this next tutorial. Thank you so much for watching.